listen to that noise. Oh my goodness me. Whoa. Welcome to the Velocity showroom with what is a very special car. This is one of the very first convertible signature series Mustangs we've done here at Velocity, finished in a moss green. This thing is fantastic. We're gonna take this top off, we're gonna walk all the way around the car, gonna show you the inside, show you on the engine bay, and we're even gonna take it for a quick spin. Hope you enjoy the video. So before I show you around the Mustang, I wanna make sure that you've got a really good view. And the best way to do that is gonna to be to put this top down. The top is fully automatic and it's really easy to put down. All I'm gonna do is turn the key so I've got power in the vehicle. This is a powered soft top, so really simple. Turn the ignition on. I unclip these two clips. So one clip there, two clip there. And then all I do is pull this little lever towards me and down goes the top. Really, really easy. I keep that held until it's all the way at the back and then we're gonna jump to me clipping it in. So we've got most of the top down now. The last thing that we need to do, we already did it on the other side, is drop this quarter window. It's electric, like on all velocities, so we push that down and then that'll give us the clearance to clip the rest of the top in. And this is a really nice tight leather top that goes over the back of the full soft top, clips it down nicely and just finishes everything off. All right, so now we've got the top down, let's take a proper look at this Mustang. Obviously, this car is stunning. It's in moss green, which is a metallic green. It's a really dark green with a deep fleck in it, and it just sets this Mustang off. A really popular color, other colors in this Mustang. Uh, green always looks great. Highland green is another really popular one. Uh, but this one looks fantastic, and it's complemented, of course, by these white racing stripes. These aren't vinyl on the Mustangs. They are actually hand-painted stripes, and they go all the way along the hood of the vehicle and then to the back as well uh, over the trunk. So a really, really nice option uh, that the customer went for on this vehicle. Chrome front bumpers, of course, that iconic Ford Mustang front end um, with Ford lettering uh, and badging on the hood as well. And we've got LED lights on all velocity vehicles there are full LED headlights. This Mustang is no exception. So coming along the side of the vehicle then, and the thing just gets better and better. We've got a 17 inch rim on these Signature Series Mustangs. It's a gorgeous looking, classic kind of looking rim. And behind it, of course, we've got full disc brakes. The Mustang disc brakes are actually by a company called Bayer. So we use Bayer brakes on the Mustangs and Continental tires are wrapped around those rims. A really, really nice package. Following along, we've got a lower white stripe. It's like a sports stripe in the lower sill of the Mustang. Really nice, obviously matches with the hood stripe. It's just really nice, painted as well. Again, not a vinyl stripe. Chrome all the way around the windscreen or the windshield, as you guys would say. Uh, side mirrors are in chrome. Door handles are in chrome, of course. These are very similar door handles to what we put on our Broncos, of course, because it's a Ford, so they match the same. And that chrome continues. All the little poppers, the top, the buttons on the top are all chrome. Your door locks are chrome and chrome inside the cabin too. My favorite part of the Mustang is actually the back of a Mustang. I just think it's gorgeous. This is no exception. So the, uh, the convertible Mustang obviously doesn't have the aggressive coupe scoop uh, that the Fastbacks do, but it still looks incredible. We've got Mustang badging on the back, the full chrome GT fuel cap, velocity badging, all of the LEDs surrounds are in chrome, the rear bumper is in chrome, you've got chrome trim. So everywhere is just chrome, green, white, Awesome stuff. For exhaust on the Mustangs, we use Baller, same as the other Signature Series Mustangs that we build. It's a full Baller exhaust. This thing sounds insane. Hopefully we're gonna go and drive it in a second so you guys can hear that, what it sounds like when it's under load. It, it sounds really, really good. Uh, ultimately, just a gorgeous back end of the car. Under all Velocity Mustangs, there is a full Roads to Shop chassis. So there is not just subframe connectors underneath this Mustang. There obviously was never a chassis underneath the Mustang, but now there is. And this Roads to Shop frame is insane. It just ultimately revolutionizes the drivability of these cars. It makes them so nice to drive. They're really dialed in. They're really aggressive to drive. They handle the corners really well. They're just a ton of fun. So full Roadster Shops chassis underneath this one, full link chassis underneath it, drives insane. 
you just cannot get any better, really. Sitting inside the Mustang then, and of course it looks as good inside as it does outside. You've already seen a tease of it, given that it's a kind of open top, you kind of had a sneak peek, but let's get into the details now. This leather, and it is a leather in this convertible, is called Shoreline. It's a really nice tan, it's kind of a middle tan, it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's not too orange, and it works really well next to that moss green. We've got upgraded fittings and fixtures all over, starting with this door card. It's a custom door card for our Mustang, designed by the guys here. You've got door release, you've got all of your window regulation here. So for your electric windows, again, it looks old, but it is new and really cool feature of the Mustangs that nothing else gets. You actually get adjustable driver's side uh, side mirrors uh, from inside on the door card. So exactly like they were back when they were originally built. Moving on to the next thing you see then, and of course that's a steering wheel. You guys might recognize the steering wheel. It's a similar one to we use in the Broncos. It's got notches behind it, so for good grip, it's a wooden rim steering wheel, looks amazing, feels amazing to hold. And then behind that, we've got a full Dakota digital dash. So same as always in our signature series, full Dakota digital dash, looks old, but it is new thanks to the guys at Dakota. You've got two screens for a little more instrument detail, for temperatures, for mileage left, things like that. And then you've got your normal speed and revometer so you can track your RPMs. You've got oil pressure and things like that behind it, but it's all digital, it's not original. We did it earlier, we tested it. This little switch here is for the top, so fully uh, electric top that can come up and down. And then moving forward and along, you've got this dash panel that goes all the way across. So really, really nice. And that leather continues all the way across the dash panel, also into the center console. This is an automatic, it's the 10 speed. We'll get onto the engine in a second, but automatic for your transmission and a retro sound radio. So it looks old, but it is actually brand new Bluetooth radio there. As well, it's a velocity, and that means it's got a Focal sound system. So full sound system from Focal. The speakers are just sitting here down by my feet uh, on the passenger side and the driver's side and the footwells. This thing sounds amazing. I'm gonna test it out in a minute, but it sounds great. Glove box on the right hand side, and as always, a drinks holder in the middle. That's what you get in these Mustangs. It's not overdone, it's not over complex. If you want something a little bit more next level, that would be where our Street Series comes in. But in our Signature Series convertible, these are designed for everyday driving. They're not overdone, they're not over custom, they're just really classic looking, finished really, really well. And that's what this is. It's a gorgeous interior. It's also really nice to sit in, thankfully, in part also to this double diamond stitch and perforation on the interior. I can already feel the breathability on my back in a minute when we go and drive in the sun. I'm sure I'm going to be nice and cool. Um, let's take a look in the engine bay before we go and take this thing for a spin. All right. Opening the hood, and of course you're greeted by a third generation Coyote. It's a V8, it's got 450 horsepower, super reliable, super durable. It's gonna get you where you need to go. It's gonna get you there fast too, because these things will do 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds or less. We haven't actually race timed these, uh, but we know they're quicker than the Broncos, and the Broncos we have race timed at four and a half seconds. Uh, of course, thanks to the aerodynamics of the Mustang and the weight uh, is much less. So these things are quick. They're really, really a lot of fun, but when you need to slow down, of course, you've got hydro boosted disc brakes by the guys at Bayer and a Willwood setup um, for the actual hydro boosting. So lots of stopping power too. This engine bay is tight. And so what the guys have actually done is they've removed the front suspension turrets in order to make space. The extra space has also been used, not only so you've got a bit more access to the engine, but also to fit these amazing hood hinges, full billet hood hinges with proper actuation. So really easy to lift the hood up and down. Uh, and this engine's super serviceable. Behind it is the 10R80, so the 10 speed automatic that we talked about while I was in the cabin. Really easy transmission to drive. When you want to get on it, it will go. It will drop a couple of gears and really throw you up in the higher RPMs. But also for everyday cruising, when you're just light on the throttle, enjoying it, looking out the window. Well, you don't even need to look out the window here. It's a, it's a soft top. You're looking out the scenery, it's going to cruise really nicely. So this is a really good example of what you would expect in any Velocity vehicle, any Velocity Ford. This Mustang has got all of that set up. Even as an Englishman, I feel the American dream right here. This is brilliant. The car's driving really well, really straight here, especially as this road is not entirely flat. It undulates, very, very minor corrections needed while I'm driving. It's 50 miles an hour going along here. You can imagine going to the beach in this car, taking it out to get ice cream, going shopping, 
really doing anything that you want to do on a sunny day. Take it to the golf course. Of course, the back seats and the trunk, you've got lots of space to fit clubs. This thing just drives incredibly well onto the brakes now. Of course, the Hydro boosted, so we've got lots of braking power. And we've also got 460 horses underneath the hood. And so as we come into this junction, this is a fast moving highway. If you were in an original Mustang, maybe you would feel a bit nervous, although the Mustang's always had a bit of pickup. But in this, I'm not worried at all. I know I'm going to be able to get out and get going real quick, real easy. Here we go, we're clear. On the gas. Listen to that noise. Oh my goodness me. Whoa, and then we got to slow down because I'm going over the speed limit very quickly. This thing is fantastic, absolutely brilliant. You cannot get a better experience than being in an open top Mustang on a warm day, a hot day like today. It drives unbelievably well. This is 60 miles an hour. We're straight as an arrow here. Into the fast lane, no problems with overtaking whatsoever. Indicator markers actually built into the hood, which is a really nice feature. LEDs, of course. Man, this is fun. I feel like everybody has to own a convertible car at one point in their life just to feel the experience of the open air, the wind in your hair, literally, in the Mustang. This thing is brilliant. It's got lots of pickup, lots of power. We're cruising at about 60 miles an hour. Just looking around, I'm safe to do so. Get on the gas a little bit here and you'll see the pickup immediately. There it is. Tons of power. Tons of go, loads of speed. No problem at all, and this thing will keep running and keep running if, if you need it to. Indicating to come off then, onto the brakes. Loads of stopping power again, thanks to those Bayer brakes, Hydra boosted. Oh, this thing corners brilliantly as well. Into another road section here where they're doing some work to the road, and again, it's a bit uneven, it's a bit bumpy. The chassis makes short work of that, very stable. For a vehicle of this age, you just you should not be able to drive it in the way I'm driving it, but it is so much fun. Coming out this junction again. Loads of power when I need it. This is not full throttle. About half throttle there, straight up to 50, 60 miles an hour. And of course, loads more if I need it. Man, this is the sort of car that if you've got kids, if you've got family, your wife, your husband, this is such a fun thing to do on a weekend. There's something so cool about being in an open top vehicle, but also being so low to the road. It's a really pure driving experience that you don't get in many cars these days. And even in convertible Mustangs and other convertibles that are modern, they're not quite as binary don't quite have the same level of soul as something like this. It just immediately transports you back into that late 60s, early 70s era when these cars were originally made. What a way to take in your community, the state that you live in. I don't, I don't think there is a better way to explore than this. Thanks so much for walking around this amazing 1968 Moss Green Mustang with me. It's a convertible, it's classic, it's cool. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, this thing. A lovely new addition to our lineup. We can't wait to build more of these. We've already built a couple of them. Brittany Blue is a popular color for these. Seafoam Metallic, which we've seen on the Broncos. We're building another one of those with a white top and white interior. That's gonna be fantastic. I love these cars. They are great. They're the epitome of American summer driving. Fantastic. As always, if you're interested in these products or anything else that we do, please do get in contact with us. You can email us, text us, give us a phone call. We'd love to speak to you. Thank you.